was was wanting to know the video challenge is because uh, Fortnite has added a new graphics setting uh called anti aliasing super resolution. So we're gonna test that. Um you won't get you won't be able to see this option in performance mode. You have to be in DX twelve or DX eleven. You won't be able to see this in performance mode, so I'm gonna do some testing on it. I'm not sure exactly what it does, so does anti aliasing smooths the jagged edges and can stabilize the image under motion super resolution methods do the same while additionally improving performance by rendering fewer pixels each frame to generate the same resolution output image. So I'm not sure what necessarily this is. I think this is some kind of it might be some DLSS sort of thing. It seems like that. Some sort of DL DLSS or AMD FX super resolution alternative in Fortnite. So yeah. And there's different anti aliasing modes. So this demonstration we're gonna using replay mode um so we can see what it does on the same thing so it's more accurate so first of all in order to, for us to actually see the pixels so that we can in order for us to see the pixels so that we can um see the difference i'm just actually gonna lower down the 3d res to a noticeable amount so you can like until you can like count the pixels put this in your head right here and now we're gonna see what normal anti-aliasing does so let's just see we just turn on oh okay that's interesting they've actually removed anti-aliasing with this thing so this is actually so they've removed the anti-aliasing slider thing and changed it with this thing so we're going to try fast approximate anti-aliasing bye this is what it looks like i will kind of see the pixels it's a bit like blurry though so Really what that is. Um let's see here. Uh temporal and but this one seems a lot more cleaner here. I'm not sure how it works, but here. I'm just gonna go back into the video and see the difference. Okay, so here's the difference uh in screenshots. So as you can see in the off one, on the on the left it's what it looks like with no anti aliasing. In the middle is what it looks like with the fast approximation anti-aliasing. And on the right is the temporal anti-aliasing. So, yeah. Just pause the video right here. Uh, apply maximum resolution because I know YouTube does some scaling stuff. So, put on maximum resolution. And uh, yeah, see for yourself.